Oh, right. I did, I wanted to show you guys photos of my parents' video game store. I mentioned this a while ago. Growing up, my dad and my mom, my, my mom and my stepdad owned a video game store. So, when I was growing up, my dad's first video game store was called, like, Exchange. Because it was a skateboard shop and a video game store combined. So he would, he would, like, sell skateboards and video games. It was really cool. So his first video game store was just called Exchange. And then he literally just sold skateboards and video games. Later on, uh, the game store called Game Crazy, they went out of business, right? And when they went out of business, my stepdad, he bought the copyright of their logo and their name. He legally bought the copyright of their name and their logo. So then he opened up a video game store called Game Crazy. Let me show you photos. Hold on. All right. So here's my collage. <laughs> I said my, my stepdad, he ended up buying like the logo and the name to game crazy so he had to switch the logo before he officially got the logo he had to switch a little bit so you can see like game crazy looks a little different right here from the original game crazy sign but this was his the outside of his store and then that's the inside so oh man i remember as a kid um if i wanted to like make extra money or something like that my dad would be like Okay, just like put the video games in alphabetical order and I'll give you like 10 bucks. <laughs> so I would come into his store and I would like organize all of these in alphabetical order and then get my $10. I was really young at the time. Yeah, here's all the photos I could find of his game store at the time. Some of these are just like basic. Uh, I don't have any of the back room, which is unfortunate because I liked the back room of my dad's store because we would mod xboxes yeah it was a lot of fun and then here's the other game crazy sign so i think this one's like the actual like original game crazy logo but you can tell it's a little bit different from like the one in front of his store like the logo is a little different but yeah he called this game store game crazy he ended up buying the copyright or trademark i can't remember what it's called and then here's my dad in front of his store he was so happy. Look at, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, can I make this bigger? No, I can't. So it's like, I can't make it any bigger. But yeah, he's holding like the sign and he's like inside of his store and he's like so happy. Here's a photo of my mom and my stepdad. My stepdad was in the army. And then yeah, when he left the army, he opened up a video game store. Back rooms, the back rooms of his store was so cool though. But yeah, this is, this is my, this is my dad's video game store. And then later on, he got like the franchise of a different video game store it's really unfortunate but like when i was in high school somebody broke into my stepdad's video game store and they stole everything like everything he was really bummed out because i think whoever stole the stuff obviously didn't think about our family and like how our livelihood literally relies on this video game store making money my dad like tried to like file things with like insurance and he like called the police and stuff like that and nobody like helped him. He was really bummed out because they said like the camera. So like this is the front of his video game store. I, apparently one of the cameras, the CCTVs that was like in front of his store just didn't work or something. It was like a whole like line of unfortunate events. He had insurance, but like it like took so long and then they didn't really help him. It was like, it was like really a pain. It was so unfortunate. After that happened, he got like with a different video game store called Play and Trade. So this is a different video game store, the inside of another one called Play and Trade. And you can see they all have the, the Play and Trade clothes on and stuff. But Play and Trade is like a franchise kind of like, it's like GameStop, but I think it's like a franchise where you can like own them or something, if that makes sense. The, the game Crazy was my stepdad's like baby. That was his, that was my mom and my stepdad's like store. That was their baby. And then after that went under, they kind of worked at the play and trade for a while. They really liked it. I loved the play and trade. It was really fun. It was really cool too. And I liked the location of that store a little better. But with this particular store, when people would come to pre-order games, apparently GameStop had priority. If someone came into my dad's game store and they pre-ordered like, let's say like Halo 4 Special Edition, 
the companies would send all of the Halo 4 Special Edition to like GameStop first, and then they would send them to my dad like weeks after it released. And it really like was bad for his business. So eventually he closed down his store. Um, when he did, I applied at GameStop. I was trying to apply at GameStop the same time because I didn't want to work at my dad's game store, but they wouldn't hire me at GameStop because I was like a conflict of interest. But then as soon as my dad's store kind of, as soon as he like quit the video game store thing, they instantly hired me at GameStop. <laughs> so I worked at GameStop for a long time. That's the story of my dad's video game store. He loved it. And in this photo, this photo, he's like so happy. <laughs> he's got his little, his little sign and stuff.